there will be an influx of new demand entering into the market, which means that if there is an oversupply. In today's video, I'm gonna describe why, according to the latest immigration targets, how there might be some relief coming for landlords. Hello everyone, this is Sam from Siberia 6 Real Estate and Remax Real Charm Realty Inc. Back with another video. As always, you can find my contact information, my office address and phone number, my uh, phone number, my Gmail, my Instagram, all that in the description box. As well, please feel free to comment, rate, and review. Subscribe if you want to. If you don't want to, that's perfectly fine. If you leave a bad review, feel free to do that as well. I don't mind. Uh, constructive feedback is the best. Anyways, uh, as you know, and hopefully you do, hopefully you've been watching my videos, I've been discussing the downward trend of the condo market and the rental market, the rental market at large, but most specifically the condo market, the condo rent purchase and sale and the condo rental market. And although there's a lot of factors affecting those uh, downward trends that I have explained ad nauseum, feel free to go and watch those videos. One factor is the lack of immigration, specifically as it relates to the rental market. Right now, rents are down uh, substantially across the board, but you know, even more so that is the case with condos, whether it be one bedroom, two bedroom, three bedroom, four bedrooms, just go watch those videos. Uh, it'll probably pop up on the screen. Uh, and one of the reasons that is the case is the influx of short-term rentals now into the long-term rental market. But another is the lack of demand because of the lack of immigration. So you do have an oversupply of condos for rent, uh, once again, for all those various factors, but the lack of demand doesn't only have to do with people not liking condos anymore, although that is part of it, people don't no longer need to be close to work. As a result, they can get something bigger further away. But another reason and a series of reasons is the lack of immigration. And immigration uh, is really closely correlated with uh, the rental market. Most newcomers, people who have just came to Canada through immigration, uh, typically rent. Now, there, obviously there are exceptions. You know, a lot of people who are wealthier in their home country or have some sort of funding do come here and purchase. But I would say about 70%, maybe, maybe even higher, of immigrants rent at first before they buy. As a result, because of the lack of immigration due to the pandemic, we have seen another downward pressure on the demand that has caused the supply to be way too much and as a result the prices to drop but there might be some relief coming because the canadian government just announced their immigration benchmarks for the years 2021 2022 and 2023 2021 will be 401,000 immigrants 2022 will be 411,000 2023 they're aiming for 421,000 now these figures are very high so much so that 400,000 has not been seen since the year 1913. That is the last time uh, the Canadian government allowed 400,000 immigrants to migrate into uh, Canada was 1913. Now, obviously this is not all gonna come to Ontario and Toronto, uh, but a good portion will. That remains to be seen what the percentage of this 400,000 in the upcoming years will be However, it is safe to say that this will substantially help the rental market. There will be an influx of new demand entering into the market, which means that if there is an oversupply, that supply will be matched somewhat with the demand, leading into more of a market equilibrium. And as we know, when the supply and demand are relatively close in the free and open market, there will be a market equilibrium. And this will not favor landlords, nor will it favor tenants, as is the case now. Uh, it will be a fair and balanced market. Now, this is all assuming that the pandemic does not get worse and everything else being equal in the world if there's no major wars and such. But insofar as we can project that this will occur, this will definitely provide some relief in 2021 uh, for landlords who are now gravely struggling due to a lack of demand and an oversupply, which doesn't only and exclusively have to do with the lack of immigration. There's many reasons as I've discussed in the past and previous videos, but as it relates to the topic of today's video, this 
new influx of immigration will definitely help relieve some of the downward pressures.